We will use surface kill sheet exercise 1 for this example. Let's start to fill up the upper right corner of page 1. As indicated by red marks here. Current mud weight in hole is 10.3 ppg. And then, fill the casing size 958. And shoe depth 4329 feet MD and TVD. Then hole size 8 and half and hole depth 6453, feet MD and TVD. Now we move to upper left corner. Maximum allowable mud weight and MAASP calculations. We will use shoe TVD, leak off test pressure, and mud weight at test. With recorded leak off test pressure 1400 PSI, 10 ppg test mud weight, and shoe TVD 4329 feet. We can use the formula to calculate our maximum allowable mud weight, and we will get 16.21924. We need to round down this number to one decimal place. So we use only 16.2. Using 16.2 maximum allowable mud weight. Then we calculate the MAASP, 16.2 minus current mud weight, 10.3, equal to 5.9, and then multiplied by shoe TVD and multiplied by 0.052. We get MAASP equal to 1328 PSI. Please remember to use shoe TVD for this part of calculation. This is our SCR records for pump number 1 and pump number 2. At 30 and 40 stroke per minute. But we will kill the well with 30 SPM using mud pump 1. So we will use 340 PSI as our dynamic pressure loss. Now we move to volume and stroke calculations. Use only MD, pipe length, and capacity for each section. Do not use TVD, we have to use MD. Now we calculate drill pipe length. It is equal to the well MD, minus heavy weight length and drill collar length, and we get 5103 feet. Now we calculate drill string volume. Each section length is to be multiplied by internal capacity. And total drill string capacity is 99.8 barrels. Divided by pump displacement, 0.102, we get the number of stroke 979, and again by 30 SPM, we get pumping time, 33 minutes. This drill string total stroke, often known as surface to bit stroke, 979 strokes, will be used later on page 2. To calculate pressure drop every 100 strokes. Length of DP and heavy weight in the open hole is equal to well MD minus drill collar length minus casing shoe MD. In this example we get 1404 feet. Then we calculate the volume by multiplying each section by the corresponding annulus capacity, for drill collar, pipe in open hole and pipe inside casing. Annulus open hole volume is 87.6 barrels. Divided by pump displacement, giving us bit to shoe stroke. 859 strokes, and 28 minutes pumping time. Bid to surface stroke is, total annulus volume, divided by pump displacement, and we get 2934 strokes. So theoretically, after pumping 859 strokes, influx will be above the shoe. And after pumping 2934 strokes, influx will be out of annulus. Now we go to page 2, using current mud weight 10.3. Shut in drill pipe pressure 550, and well TVD 6453. We can calculate our kill mud weight. The result is 11.939 ppg. And it is to be rounded up to one decimal place, so we get 12.0 ppg. The SCR at 30 SPM is 340, so our ICP is 340 plus 550, equal to 890 psi. Our FCP is kill mud weight 12 divided by 10.3, multiplied by SCR 340, 
equal to 397 psi. When we pump kill mud into the string, the drill pipe circulating pressure will decrease gradually from ICP 890 psi to FCP 397 psi, and the pressure is decreasing by 50 psi for every 100 strokes of kill mud pumped into drill string. However after reaching FCP, drill pipe circulating pressure is to be kept constant, to maintain bottom hole pressure constant. Before pumping kill mud, our initial MAASP was 1328 PSI, with 10.3 ppg inside the well. But after killing the well, we have kill mud 12.0 ppg inside the well. So our new MAASP is 16.2 minus 12.0, 4.2 ppg. Multiplied by SHU TVD, then by 0.052, is 945 psi. We can see that our MAASP is decreasing. Because mud inside the well has higher density.